guys, welcome to Fish Hook. I'm Charles. Hey, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. We had an awesome one, about 20 of us at the house with all my uh, kids and grandkids. We had a blast. So now we're, as we're moving along in the holiday season, we want to continue on some holly, great holiday appetizers. I've got a cool one today. We're going to do seafood stuffed mushrooms. And I think you guys are going to like it and I'll show you what all the ingredients are. Well, what we've got here is large white mushrooms. We had to clean them all out and now they're ready to get stuffed. They've been washed and cleaned. We've got chives. We've got one egg yolk. Uh, we've got six ounces of fresh crab meat, four to five ounces of fresh shrimp. We've got breadcrumbs, lemon juice, pinch of salt, Worcestershire sauce, black pepper, garlic powder, a little extra breadcrumbs after that. Once we stuff these, we're going to dip them in there to give them a nice coating and then soften eight ounces of fresh cream cheese. So we're going to get started mixing this up and prepare to stuff these mushrooms. All right, we've got our mixing bowl. We're going to put one egg yolk in here. We're gonna put our cream cheese in here. And then we're gonna use a blender to mix this all up. Our chives. A little bit of breadcrumb to hold it together. Our garlic salt. Rather garlic powder, black pepper, Worcestershire sauce, a little pinch of salt, and some lemon juice. So we'll proceed to mix this up for a little bit and let's get an even consistency here, a nice mix. Then we'll proceed to toward the mushrooms. Everything appears to be mixed well. It pays to have your uh, cream cheese nice and soft. Excellent. All right, we will proceed to stuff the mushroom. Well, we've got a greased baking pan. I've sprayed it with olive oil. You can line it with tin foil if you, if you want to, but I have an enamel non-coat pan. It works great. I like spraying things with the olive oil. I don't use Pam. I use pure olive oil. So let's get started. When we clean these out, we cut the stems off. I saved them, of course. And then with the spoon, real careful, you got to hold it really close like that. And then you can scrape out to make a little indentation in there to this way you have a hollow cavity before we do that we're going to mix in the crab and the shrimp i cut the shrimp up in little pieces and i'm going to do my best to mix this all together now so we get a good even consistency I didn't want to use the blender, not with the uh, crab in here and so forth and shrimp. It would have probably emulsified everything. All right, excellent, excellent. We've got some good stuff going on here. I don't want to waste any of this goodness. All right, we are going to get started putting this beautiful mixture in each one of these. And then when we're done, in fact, I'll do it now. I'll dip them right in the uh, breadcrumb. That's what I want to do. So you have a nice breadcrumb coating. 
and that's a finished product. Look at that. Oh yeah, these are going to be golden brown in the oven. Got nice little pieces of shrimp. We've got crab in here mixed up. Oh, beautiful. This is going to taste scrumdiliocious. I'm making sure that I grab the crab and the shrimp. Oh yeah. Definitely want to get large uh, mushrooms. You want to be able to stuff it and, you know, get a reasonable portion in each one. These are Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. A little bit more flavorful than just plain breadcrumbs. Well, we have reached 400 degrees and we're going to put the mushrooms in the oven for approximately 12 to 14 minutes. As soon as they get fork tender. And at that point, I'll put it on broil just so I can brown the top. So let's put the mushrooms in the oven well here you have it they're ready to go and we'll let that stay on for 12 minutes all right the mushrooms are ready to go into the upper oven where i have broil and we're going to put them for a couple of minutes and let's brown them a little bit on broil we are ready we put it in the broiler for a couple minutes or so just to get the top brown well here you have it they're all done this looks delicious they're nice nice and soft oh yeah beautiful those mushrooms still had a lot of water still in them i drained them as good as i could but there still was a lot of water in there excellent well guys the moment of truth my two favorite combinations shrimp and crab Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we have scored on this one, guys. You guys have got to do this. Oh, yes. Mm. I put a little extra black pepper because I'm a freak when it comes to that. I like that tangy, spicy kick. You guys don't have to do that. In the uh, links below, I'll put the standard recipe. You know the rule of thumb in my book? Modify. This is fabulous. Fabulous. Mmm. Oh, man. Guys, that's a home run. And that, if you serve this at a party... Now, toward Christmas and New Year's, they're going to want to come over to your house again and again and again. You're going to be the head of the party. This has is absolutely delicious. Even though there was a little bit of excess water came out of the mushrooms, I probably should have uh, dried them out a little bit better. I'm telling you, everything is cooked perfect. Now, I use cream cheese here. Still, I would like to try another time doing this. I want to put some Parmesan or some mozzarella cheese in here as well. I think that'll just be like icing on a cake. I think it's going to come out excellent. Guys, thanks so much. The channel's growing very nicely, and I appreciate that. 
Uh, we just started hunting segments. We have two out already on a gun <clears throat> review on a TC Compass gun review and a scope install. And I hope you guys uh, take the time to go check it out if you're so inclined into hunting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you really um, learned something here. It's a, it's a really cool nifty dish. It takes about 30 minutes really to prepare once you get all your ingredients together and anything else that uh, you guys like. And then it took about 12 to 14 minutes in the oven. I kept it in for about two more minutes to cook until they were really nice and tender, the uh, mushrooms. Even if they stayed in another minute, it wouldn't have dried this out whatsoever. And then in the broiler for about a couple minutes, just to brown the tops. You don't want to burn them. I'm telling you, it, this is a really a top-notch uh, appetizer. I think you guys will very much enjoy this. Again, if you're new to the channel, thank you uh, for checking us out if it's the first time. I hope you hit the subscribe button. It'll be up above me somewhere here. And post a like uh, and a comment. I love your comments. Uh, thank you so much for all the comments that have come in so far. They've been excellent. I've responded to everyone. I hope I didn't miss anybody. I look forward to hearing from you. And for all you guys and gals that have tried some of the recipes, thank you so much for the comments that it, they, you guys really liked it. And you guys have dolled it up on your own end, and I love that. That's what it's all about. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.